Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hello, my name is Andre and my eyelashes are sticking together, delightful. Anyways, I've been getting a couple comments on my previous hauls that I've done saying, Andrea, we need more hauls. Andrea, Andrea give me, me a haul. Andrea, Andrea, I need more hauls. Bitch, where? I've heard it. I've heard your demands. Not even requests. Demands. Delightful demands. I've heard them all. And, um, yeah, I would love to do more hauls, but I also need money to do that. So I had to sit. I had to think. I was like, how can I give the people what they want without spending my money? And that's when I saw uh, a couple other YouTubers where they go inside the dressing room at like an actual store and try on the clothes there. Groundbreaking. And I said, that's a great idea. And today on the docket is Target. If you've ever been inside a Target and you see the clothes they have, you might be asking yourself, why? That's a great question. You're an intelligent person, I can tell. But there's these shorts that have been going around on TikTok that everyone is saying that they're amazing. You know what? I figured now is the time to stop hating my legs, or at least film myself hating my legs on camera. First on the docket, I'm not wasting your time. I told you we're trying out the TikTok shorts and that's what we're starting with. They're called the Women's Super High Rise Curvy Rolled Cuff Mom Jean Shorts and they go for $15. $15. Yes, Target, that's what I needed. Size 12 didn't fit so I went up to a 14 and they fit pretty nicely. Keep in mind these are the mom mom jeans so they're gonna be high waist. I really like where the pockets sit. I think they make my butt look delicious but maybe that's just the camera angle. I just remember trying them on I was like okay I like what I'm seeing. These the ones that I'm wearing do have the the embroidery. Did I say that right? The embroidery? They have the happy word on one of the butt pockets. That personally doesn't bother me. I don't care. But they do make these without the word happy on them in case you were interested in them. If you have thicker thighs than I do, whether they're just a little bit more voluptuous or you work out and you got some muscles, try them out, see if they work for you. I just noticed when I wore them, it felt like the cuff around the thighs didn't have too much of a stretch or at least not as much as I would like. I don't know if that's because they were brand new, if they kind of wear down over time. So just keep that in mind. But they do have other shorts that don't have that cuff where it's just loose. But overall, I really like these shorts. Just keep in mind, when it comes to the jean material at Target, they're not the best, but these are just 15 bucks, so it doesn't bother me. Next, we have the Women's Super High Rise Curvy Cutoff Jean Shorts, and these are also $15. Now, these shorts are the ones that have, like, instead of a zipper, they have a row of buttons going down. I tried on a size 14, and the 14 for these felt tighter. I'm fighting for my Life. than the happy shorts I just showed. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because they have the buttons going down rather than a zipper if that like changes the stretch of it, but they felt a little bit tighter. Nice thing with these shorts, everything was covered. Uh, these don't have a cuff and they still looked nice. Overall, I'm seeing with these shorts that they have, these are in the young adult section. I'm just really loving where they put the pocket placement. I've tried on shorts or like jeans where the pockets are super low, so it just makes my butt look saggier. And don't get me wrong, I'm not going to the gym 24-7. I don't have like a chiseled buttocks. So it's like I have to work a little bit harder to make it look nicer than what it is. And these shorts make me look good. They make me look good. Next. <laughs> <laughs> this is the women's sleeveless ruched front tiered dress. I tried on a double XL and it goes for $28. <laughs> Let me try to find something nice to say. I like the colors that they picked. Now the dress in general. I don't like that. No. I don't understand the incision down the middle as if I got cut open on an operation table. I don't like where the horizontal seam sits like right on my mid hip and the ruffles they look more depressed than me in 2012 and that's when i was hospitalized it just looks like a sad dress 
The only nice thing it has going for it is the color. That's about it. I definitely could have fit in an extra large, but they didn't have any at the store. This has to be a dress that you just wear as a cover-up to the pool or the beach, but I would rather just not wear it. Just put a towel over your body or just wear like an oversized shirt. I just, mm, no, it's, it's a no for me. And next. We have, I just saw these on the rack and I figured I'd try them out. These are called the High Rise Fleece Sweatpants. They go for $22. No. no. Something about the cuff at the bottom of the ankle. If you're short, if you're a part of the Gremlin community, you know sometimes just the way that things end at the ankle, they just make you look stumpy. And that's what these sweatpants do. If you see these sweatpants and you want a high-waisted sweatpants that like kind of fit your figure a little bit nicer, I would recommend these from Amazon. I got these. I love them so much. They're soft. They're not sweatpants that are like gonna keep you warm in the winter, but if you just want some casual sweats to go to the gym in or to hang out around the house, I would recommend these instead. Next on the docket, it's called the Women's Sleeveless Jackard Sweater Dress. Jackard. I tried it in the size large and it retails for $28. It's just, it's not for me. Something about, I'm, mm, how do I say this? For me and my 5'3 body, it just sits kind of weird on me. It's like slightly too long in my opinion to be a midi dress and it looks like it wants to be form fitting but loose at the same time. I don't know. Something about this is just weird. This dress to me feels like something that you could wear as like a cover-up if you're gonna go to the pool or to the beach. You could wear this. Would you pay $28 for a cover-up? It looks like something you can buy at Shein for half the price. Next is called the Woman Sleeveless Lace Trim Mesh Bodycon Dress. I try it on a size extra large and it goes for $18. I do really like the color. I like the pattern. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm older, but whenever I see dresses like this, I just think of a night slip or what are they called? There are silk slips like this that you wear under a dress. That's what I think of. And rather than buying this for $18, I would personally rather go to like a Goodwill to get one, or I'm sure Walmart has some, and then you can just dye it any color that you want. And then with things like that, you're actually gonna get a nice thicker lace trim on the top. This says it's a lace trim, but the lace was so thin that it was basically curling in and under the dress, so it's not like you could even see it. The thing I do like about this, I think it's pretty cool that they have, like the design is a thin mesh type of material that goes over the actual uh, satin part of the dress. I think that looks cool. Overall, it's just not my style. It makes me look elderly. There, I said it. I think it makes me look like I have the body of a 75 year old woman that's had like eight kids and 24 grandkids. I just want to find clothes that look good on me right now and this dress isn't it. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. But for the last thing I tried on, this is called Big the women's I sleeveless I ruched I mesh dress. Yeah. I tried on an extra large and this retails for $28. This is another dress where I feel like I could have gone for a large. Uh, overall, I like the idea of the dress. I definitely like those dresses that have like the draping going down the middle. But the only problem is when I try this dress on, the back, it keeps that draping effect. And I think that's because it has a zipper on the back, so it has like a seam to stick onto, but on the front, it just kind of flops down and it looks, it's another thing that just looks limp and dead and lifeless. And if it could keep that curtain effect on the front, it feels like it has more purpose, but because it doesn't, it just looks like a if you like this type of style of a dress or want something similar, I'm sure they have dresses like this at Forever 21 or Charlotte Russe for about the same price. Okay, so wrapping up final thoughts. The shorts in the young adult sections at Target, yeah, I would recommend them. If you're near a Target and you want to try them out, go try them on. Even if you're uncomfortable in shorts, I would recommend you try them out because I'm someone who hates their legs and I felt, I felt pretty good in these shorts. Um, and the best part is they are $15. I can't beat the price of that. In regards to the dresses, there's nothing 
like blatantly horrible about them. Like the stitching is fine. I wasn't noticing a bunch of loose threads, but it's just not my style. It's like Target has this thing, especially with the young adult section, where it's like they try so hard to stay on trend, but there's always just something slightly off in the construction or like the design of the dress that I personally just don't like. Rather than spending $30 on these Target dresses, I would rather buy something online at Princess Polly for $40. That's like a little bit thicker and better quality, but that's just me personally. Anyways, if you like what you saw, please like the video and hit subscribe. It literally costs you nothing. Thanks guys, I'll see you sometime next week. Bye-bye. Send us my end card. Click this video. Go ahead. Click it. Click, click. Okay, bye.